Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to continue with the revision of all the grade 10 work covered regarding sulfur X. In our previous videos we had discussed where we take out a common We have also discussed where we do trinomials and solve for x. And we have discussed difference of two squares. In continuation with this, we are now going to discuss inequalities and simultaneous equations. When we are given inequalities, we must remember that the following signs mean that on a number line it has a closed circle, whereas in the sign without the equal to line has an open circle. Also, when they are talking of real numbers, we have a solid line. But when I am talking of integers or natural and whole numbers, then it is a dotted line. Right, let's do the following example. If I have x plus 1 all over 2, is greater than 3 over 4 but smaller than 7 over 3. Now the concept of solving works exactly like solve for x. I want to get my x alone so I'm going to get rid of the 2 first. But when I multiply by 2, what I do on the first part I have to do on every side. So the 2 cancels out but then I would multiply 2 times 3 6 over 4, x plus 1, smaller and equal to 14 over 3. Now, after you've done that, we are going to now get the x alone. So we are going to do the opposite of plus 1, which is minus 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. It's like you are doing two separate equations. So you look at the x plus 1 and the 6 over 4, then you solve it and then look at the x plus 1 and you're 14 over 3 and we solve it. So there are two equations. That's like one equation and that is one equation. So we have 6 over 4 minus 1 x small or equal to 14 over 3 minus 1. X, so x is greater than half, but smaller and equal to. You mustn't forget the equal to sign. 11 over 3. Now when you're doing a number line, it is difficult to draw 11 over 3. It is easier to get it in a decimal form. So we would have had x. So x is greater than 0, 0,5 but it is smaller and equal to 2,6 recurring. It is easier to see 2,6 on a number line because you now know it is, it is after 2, but it is before 3. If we are drawing our number line, we have 0, 0,5 and we have 2,6. At 0, 0,5, I'm having an open circle. Why? Because there is no equal to sign under the inequality. But at 2,6 I have a closed circle because under the inequality there is an equal to sign. Now it is a solid line because they didn't tell me if it is an integer or a natural number. Then we accept it as real numbers and it is a solid line. The next thing in our summary that we're going to do is simultaneous equations. 
In simultaneous equations, we are going to use the method where we make x or y the subject of the formula. So first we're going to make x or y the subject. When you're doing this, always look at the easier equation. Now, if you have a look at 4x and 5y, and then you have a look at 2x and y, the best one to get alone would be the y in the second equation. If we make y the subject of the formula, we'll have y is equal to 4 minus 2x. Then we are going to substitute. So we are taking this 4 minus 2x and we are putting it in wherever there is a y in the second equation. So we have 4x minus 5y is equal to 2. We're taking this in the place of a y. So we're not going to write y anymore. We're going to have 4x minus 5 open brackets. In there I'm putting 4 minus 2x. So I'm taking out the y and I'm replacing it with a 2. It's substitution. Now we're going to simplify and we are going to solve. So we have 4x minus 20 plus 10x is equal to 2. 10 plus 10x plus 4x is 14x is equal to, I'm going to take the 20 over, it becomes plus 2, so I'm left with 22. But to get my x alone, I'm going to divide by 14. So I got x is equal to 11 over 7. Now the most important thing is that once you solve, you have to go back. So I'm going to go back where y is equal to 4 minus 2x. y is going to equal to 4 minus 2, but in place of 2, I'm going to put 11 over 7. My final answer would be y is equal to 4 minus 22 over 7. y is equal to 6 over 7. Now, it is a good idea to get into the habit of writing it in coordinate form. x first, then y. Thank you for watching this video.